Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have. Hey yo, man, we got who we got over here, man. I know. Uh, I, I mean, were you ready? All right, look, look, we got Boosie on deck, man. We got Blue, what's on Blue Boosie on deck, talking about the crop top, man. Webby's crop top. We gonna talk about that in a heartbeat, man. We got Glow Realer talking about um uh, who's dumb and who's not dumb. All right, we got um uh, new, uh, new, sn uh, new snitches, new snitches on deck, and we also have uh, Cardi B responding to that talk about uh Lala Anthony and not being able to stand her, man. You know what I'm saying? Again, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source Show. If this your first time to the channel, man. Be sure to hit that like button if you feel any part of the content. We definitely appreciate that. That notification bell is waiting for your taps. So go on and give it a tap. And the subscribe button is waiting for your subscription, man. So go on and touch that too. Hey, yo, check this out, man. Where we at over here? I love, 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 love man. Um, uh, Boosie has finally weighed in on Webby rocking the crop top, man. You know what I'm saying? There's a picture that uh, Webby had posted, man. It was um, he, like he was showing, he was showing the, he was showing his, uh, his, his tummy. Okay, he was showing his tummy and he was dressed. He was dressed a little different, man. I think he was doing it in, in dedication to Pimp C or something like that, man. You know what I'm saying? The man was trying to pay tribute. Can a man pay tribute? Can a man do it? You know what I'm saying? A, a bunch of y'all like, no, not if he's revealing his stomach in the joint, in the shot. You see what I'm saying? Well, Boosie has finally um, discussed exactly what went down and how that all looked, man. Boosie said this. He said, he said, this was, you know, I guess when he was asked about it by Vlad, Boosie said, quote, Players cuff up. Players cuff up all the time. Then he said, I was pissed. Players cuff up. He was just showing his tattoo. I just was arguing with the ninja at the store. I said, man, get the cuff on, ninja. Man, get the cuff on, ninja. Players cuff up. They got my dog bad. He was showing his tattoo, man. His, uh, his bad. Players cuff up. I don't play that hoe-ish. Uh, Webby, Webby ain't known for no hoe ish. Um, you know, we, we don't play all that new generation ish. Close quote. <laughs> uh, he said, he said he, he got so many messages about the situation. He had to turn his phone off, man. You know what I'm saying? He was like, look, I, I was pissed. I had to turn my phone off. He just slipped. So sometimes you got to play defense for your peoples, man. When your peoples do something wild, you know what I'm saying? You got to be like, yo, man, I don't know what he was doing. I don't know what he was thinking. This is not like him. This is not normal. He might have had COVID. It might have affected his mind because, you know, they say COVID affects your mind now. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that's what the situation was. That's why he rocked the crop top. You know what I mean? Although <laughs> I can catch COVID twice. I ain't rocking no crop top. You see what I'm saying? Although I caught it once. My body was like, yeah, we good with the one time. You know what I'm saying? It ain't, it ain't, it ain't going to happen again. Uh, ch check this out, man. Glorilla has stated that this is what she said. This is what Glorilla said. She had put out a post. It said, "Quote: Being the smartest person in the room is not a flex." She added, "If you think it's a flex, it says a lot about you, dumbass." <laughs> uh, do do I agree with this? Well, first first off, let me just throw this out here, okay? She said, "If you think it's a flex, it's." says a lot about you <laughs> so grammatically like you know what i'm saying but we're, we're not gonna play grammar police right now okay because i can't stand when people do that check this out though man um i'm not even sure if i agree with a 100 percent. Let, let, let me put it like this okay you are smart in everybody this applies to everybody you are smart in some areas and you are dumb as hell in other areas you see what i'm saying if you think you are smarter than everyone in all areas then you're probably not very smart and you're definitely not wise you know what i'm saying the smarter you are please understand this the smarter you are the more you realize how little you know you understand what i'm saying there's a whole study on that joint it's called uh, do, do you smart people know what it's called <laughs> you're like of course i do but I don't want to make the people around me feel uncomfortable. Okay, okay, fine. Okay? You don't want them to feel uncomfortable? Fine. All right? The study is called the Dunning-Kruger effect. Okay? The study shows that dumber people think that they're smarter than everyone else or really, sm or, or, or really smarter <laughs> than everyone else. And smart people think that they are stupider than they actually might be. <laughs> you like stupider? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like dumber? You know what I'm saying? Uh, look. To think that you are smarter and, and, and for people to know you to be the smartest person in the room are two totally different things. Please understand that. Right? If you are the smartest person in the room, to me, that's kind of a flex. If you're the smartest person and other people acknowledge it or they know it, that's kind of a flex. Think about it. Okay. You're humbly sharing your intelligence with us dumb folk. You know what I mean? That makes you okay in my book. 
Now, if you surround yourself with people that are all dumber than you, then that might be a different discussion. Let me throw this one out here since we since we on a discussion, okay? If you're in a gang, all right, and you're the smartest one in that gang, chances are there's a couple of positive qualities that you possess. You might possess charisma, the ability to inspire loyalty and dedication to your followers, strategic thinking, you know what I'm saying? You're skilled at identifying opportunities and risks and making strategic decisions that benefit your, your peoples, all right? You probably got strong work ethic, where you're willing to, you know, put in long hours and take risks on the corner to achieve your goals. You know what I'm saying? And maybe keep yourself from being murdered. And also uh, resilience. You probably possess that. Where you're able to bounce back from setbacks and failures and maintain determination and, and all that other stuff. You see what I'm saying? So why not take all of those positive character traits, you know what I'm saying? All those positive characteristics and use them in endeavors that don't lock you away from society. For like 10 to 15 of your best years because you know that's what happens when you get arrested they, you, you you lose like your best years you know what i mean it's just a thought a thought a thought that the wise will take to heart you know what i'm saying and and fools will will not even consider they'll be like well good can you tell us who snitched though <laughs> uh yeah actually i can but let me do it after my shout out real quick because this is gonna be a short video for today all right uh sh shout out to who we got over here um start sinking i'm not sinking anything uh shout out to thomas garden jr my man said my man said my man said man slay you be killing me with this whole call of the police thing where in new york do they do that <laughs> hey look 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 look. first off ain't nobody said i was in new york fam you know what i mean you like oh come on really all right look listen at this rate right Calling the police is like calling a hit on somebody. So, like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not inclined to really do all of that. If, if anything, I want to try to handle situations on my own, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know what I mean? Like, if I got to kill, I, I just got to kill. If I got to kill, then I just got to kill. You know what I'm saying? No, no, I try to, uh, look, look. You're, you're, you're wiser if you can defuse situations, not start them. If you're starting beef, you're not that wise. If you can defuse it, now we're talking. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Deshauna Hyder. Deshauna Hyder said... You know what, Celeb? I noticed that when I watched earlier on yes on, on a vid with yesterday's vid, I presume, you had almost 700 likes. It was like it was like 678. Now I jump on to watch it again, and now it's 297. Then Deshauna said, YouTube, you're full of poop. Your colon, you need your colon cleansed. So here's your award, Celeb, for most hardest working YouTuber and your flowers. Ah. Uh, yeah, that's kind of foul. If 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 we getting views and likes and then you know sometimes I see the I be seeing the sub counts be you know falling back down. They go up and then they go down. But you know what I'm saying? Like, well, like what can you do? What can you do? Maybe they're unsubscribing people that are not like you know what I'm saying active. I don't know. I don't know what that what that story is. Uh, where we at over here, man? Um, let, let, let's wrap this bad boy. I said it's a short video today. I'm sitting in the car. I'm burning hot, and I'm waiting for my peoples to come through. So check this out. Check this out. Check this out, man. Uh, Atlanta rapper Rallo. He op the man openly admits that he spoke with prosecution and he told, you know what I'm saying? I want you to take a listen to this joint real quick. Take a listen. It's, it's in black and white, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm reading your lawyer pleading on your behalf trying to get this record sealed because of this information that you gave. It's, you saying that you never said that you didn't do it, but you had me believing for five years that you kept it solid, dog. And in and, and, and the paperwork, it say that in two months, y'all y'all got locked up in April. In June, June 6th, you gave a profit. And you gave up information. You gave them folk the code to your phone and let them review it in your presence. That's what the paperwork say. Yeah. I, 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 I ain't opposed to that. Long the, the, the documents that you've seen, they are not in the but Hearing. okay but so if you saying that you gave them just the phone information because you knew nothing was in the phone what about this shit on page 12 line 12 and 13 where it say he is cooperating against heroin methamphetamine he knows about shootings and the marijuana where it say he is cooperating against heroin methamphetamine okay, I, I, I'm not I'm not opposition to that listen when they when you go in there they ask you other questions I, I, I made my position they uh you know the code though i this that's what i'm saying you know the code you ain't pulled to have no meeting with them folks in the first play uh, uh, queen, it, it, I, 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 
mean, I, I was presented a, 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 a situation that that other. I just, you just, I just. Only reason why you know about this is because of the prosecution of Condor Henry. All these rap niggas pay that money to get out of jail. But I, we ain't these rap niggas though. That what I, that what I, I, Listen, 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 please, uh, please consider this. I, only, I got caught with this shit on the plane, Jake. Like, what the fuck you thought I was going to do? Take your lick. We had a, like, I, shit, I, I, it's just I, I, a week. I, I, well, okay, okay, look, listen, I, remember when, I, before you got locked up, I used to always tell you, hey, uh, don't do this. Hey, uh, don't do that. Hey, uh. I agree with you. I mean, I, I just don't get it. Really, I, I really don't get it. If you commit crime, right? Technically, technically, if you're into committing crime, committing, that's like present tense. Like you're gonna, you're doing it probably now. You're probably gonna do it tomorrow. The minute you get an opportunity, you're gonna do it again. If you commit crime, right? You're bad, okay? This is what it is. I mean, you know, if you're, you're bad, right? And I mean, it just, you know, like being, I just want you to understand this though. Being noble is good, okay? You don't like good. Because you know good, but you choose to do bad, right? Loyalty is good. If you commit crime against people, you're poisoning them, you're robbing them, you're shooting them, extorting them. Why would you be shocked and suddenly be held to a code of honor? Like, why should you, why would you be shocked if you were not be held to an old, but <sighs> what I'm saying is this, okay? What I'm saying is this. You shouldn't be held to a, a code of honor. I right? when crime it itself makes you dishonorable. It's inconsistent, man. You see what I'm saying? If murder, drug dealing, shooting, stealing, robbing, loyalty. Which one does not belong? You understand what I'm saying? Like I understand people ain't black and white. They're complex. I get that. I. Right? But how the hell is someone who engages in crime constantly making everyone else be held accountable to codes and standards of honor? It's ridiculous if, as far as I'm concerned. If you commit crimes and someone snitches on you, that's one of the prizes you get from the slot machine of crime. You see what I'm saying? Honestly, a person doesn't need half a brain to see that. Like from a distance. Play stupid games like the crime game, win stupid prizes. How you mad because you decided to box and someone punched you in the face? You, are you following my line of reasoning here, man? That's part of the game. You ain't you ain't never watched Goodfellas, The Sopranos, Godfather? No, none of them. Like these are whole manuals on what a lot of y'all are trying to be. You think you're the smartest one in the room? <laughs> that's that that's gonna skate by unscathed? No, man, it don't work that way. Come on, people are slow, man. I mean, like. You should like if you commit crime with people, you should expect that they're probably good. Like there's a very high probability they're going to snitch. I'm sorry, man. Like, I don't mean to sound like a pompous jerk. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? But I ain't committing crime. You know what I mean? Actively harming people because <laughs> I'm greedy and sensitive. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I, I, I know that I know that people are very upset with what I just said. But you know what I'm saying? Like, what, like, like, what are you going to cry about it? You, you going to cry? They probably like, yo, we want to find him and we want to beat him. You see what I'm saying? I want his family dead. I want his mother dead. I want his house burnt to the ground. I want his video editor dead. Please, Mr. Gangster. If anything, please don't kill my video editor, Sauce. You see what I'm saying? Sauce, we apologize for telling you this video so late. And finally, Rep this bad boy. I mean, come on, man. Y'all. Oh, he's a snitch. He's a snitch. Really? You commit crime, right? Well, you, now you're now you're concerned about loyalty? You're not loyal to your community. So why should anybody be loyal to you, including the buddies that you you ain't never heard of there's no honor among thieves? I just don't get it. Like these people are just weird. Uh check this out, man. You know what I hate? Let me tell you what I hate. You like what you hate, Celeb? I hate. How much beef generates interest and attention? If I told you, if we were to tell you that Cardi B has a message about why she loves loves celeb sauce, wouldn't nobody give a damn? If I posted, oh, watch how Cardi B cussed out small time YouTuber celeb sauce, that joint would shoot to the top of the list algorithmically. You see what I'm saying? You like that's a word? I just made it one. Listen, what shame? Look, look, listen. Folks saw Cardi B at the Met Gala, and she spoke with Lala Anthony on the red carpet. This is what their interaction looked like. I want you to look at the body language. Take a look. Take a look at it. Look, you're right here. 
Hi guys. Look, look, you can see everything good. Okay. This one? Look straight to this one? Oh, this one. Oh, right here. You look beautiful. You look sexy. All right. So I'm here with none other than Cardi B, who just killed the red carpet. Thank completely, you. Completely killed the Thank red carpet. Thank you. Cardi, tell me about your look tonight, because this is oh, intricate. This is so beautiful. Tell me about your look. Thank you. Was well, from a designer called Ching Pang. Mm -hmm. This is my second look of the night. And um, it's giving a little bit of everything. Like, if you see, like, the texture of this skirt, it's giving, like, a Chanel boy bag. Absolutely. And then it got the flowers, the camellia flower. That, like, you know, when you get a Chanel purse, it always got the white yes, flower. Right. But, you know, this one is black. Right. And then up top here is giving Carl. So I'm representing the house of Chanel and Carl at the same time. I like how you broke yes. that down. And mm -hmm. I like how you yes. did that. Now, you've been to a couple Met Galas at yeah. this point. What makes tonight so special uh what makes tonight so special you know what it is too that it's like um it's like a designer that like we're so like we're so like we know so much mm -hmm. we know so well and then it's just like i was curious to see how people are gonna rock his design right, because right. everybody got like their own interpretation their, their own interpretation of how things are supposed to look tonight mm -hmm. so yeah mm -hmm. i really like the looks for tonight people killed it so cardi at the met gala what is something that you look forward to the most the carpet the carpet yeah. right so now you could breathe you made yeah. it all the way up this I is the last oh my stop. god i hope i pass the test honey because <laughs> once you get on instagram that's when you know you pass the that's test what, that's when you know that's when you know you pass yeah. the test go have a good time Thank Thank you, you look always, beautiful. Oh, yeah, we you, gotta baby. talk. Thank you, yes, we do. Thank you, baby. Okay, oh, All right. I almost was my You good? Thank you. All right. Now, people saw that and said, oh, it's so obvious that Cardi B can't stand Lala. You know what I'm saying? It's so obvious. Another person said, um, um, yeah, yeah, that's what they said. Cardi B, Cardi B shot back. She said, that's not true. I talk to Lala more than any celeb. Wait, did she say celeb? Oh, she meant any other celebrity. <laughs> you like, oh, you got excited? Not really. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but I like, you know, y'all know I like Cardi. She said, um, I talk to Lala more than any other celeb. Um, she knows everything. If you ever need some um, some contacts or whatever, she, she has all the contacts or something like that. Okay. She said, she has helped me a lot. Close quote. So that just lets you know that Cardi does not hate Lala Anthony like y'all want to make it sound like she does. You know what I'm saying? Look, I figured Cardi, like uh, on the red carpet, what you saw and thought that that was hate, that might have been nervousness. Because we just told you Cardi said that she was nervous that night. You know what I'm saying? So what might have looked like I don't like her may really have been this is what my anxiety looks like. You know what I'm saying? I'm very, very anxious right now. You let us know your thoughts in the comments below, man. Do you be having anxiety attacks, man? Is it is it is it just me? <laughs> you like, what, what do you get anxiety about? I just get anxiety about being trapped. That's why I can't go to hell. You know what I'm saying? I, I, look, I can't imagine being trapped. I don't even want to be uh, trapped in a room. I don't want to be trapped in a house. I don't want to be trapped in prison. I don't want to be trapped in hell. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yo, let us know your thoughts in the comments below, man. Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Your source. Celeb News.